Hello, everybody. Hey, how are you? Um, first off, thank you guys for joining us. We have a huge crowd tonight, and uh, it's really one of our biggest. So this is this is fantastic. Um, we sold out our Zoom room, and everybody from this point on, they go over into our YouTube uh, live stream. So um, thank you for that. Know that you guys can ask questions both on YouTube and on Zoom when after we show the sh after we do the show. So um, there will be a talk back immediately following, and just raise your hand, or you could uh, type into the chat, or you could do the Q and A, or any of the above. You know, I want to take just two quick seconds just to tell you because we have so many new people here today um, to tell you what smartphone theater is. This is something that we started back in March of 2020, so right after the pandemic hit, we started up um, a live di digital stage. And throughout 2020, we had pretty much had a show every Friday. Um, playwrights, directors, uh, writer, playwrights, directors, actors, all, um, all very working people, very talented, wonderful group that has been putting up shows now for the last year. So this year, um, we're probably gonna do two a month. So keep visiting us, keep coming back. And uh, now that you've discovered us, don't go away because we love having you. This is really um, just fantastic. Speaking of which, na uh, the end of May is when we have our next show, May 28th. And although there may be one in the middle of May, I don't know yet. And then in June, we also do poetry. So we have a poetry night happening in June. And uh, we do have a couple other plays happening in June. So if you go to smartphonetheater.com, you can find our calendar. So go to the calendar and make sure you sign up. And, um, and, that's, and that's, that's the deal with Smartphone Theater. If you have any questions, feel free to always email me, todd at smartphonetheater.com. And I'll be happy to talk with you and tell you more about what we're doing and how we're doing it. And, uh, and know that our audience, I mean, today is enormous. Um, I can't answer questions right now. So thank you for putting up your hand, but I can't answer questions until after the show. So, um, but uh, uh, know that our audience comes from all over the world. So it's really great. And we'll, we'll actually see who is, who is, uh, who is our, our farthest distance audience member today. And that will happen um, when we are wrapped. So today, what you guys have all been waiting for, um, we have a wonderful, wonderful play. It's by Susan Sullivan, and uh, she's the playwright and part of the ensemble. We have Susan Sullivan as Bevy, Catherine Lee Scott as Ruth, Mitchell Ryan as Harry, David Selby as Max. It's directed by Asad Kalada. I'm thrilled to have this show, to share this with you. And uh, everybody enjoy, and I'll see you afterwards. Oh, hooey, where are you? In the bathroom, all right. Oh, good news. The pool is open again. Da! I'm on my way. Listen, darling, just come. Even if you're late, we both need the exercise. Keep that beautiful brain of yours percolating along. And, uh, oh, I am getting flabby. Have you looked at your arms late? No, probably not. Okay, so hop to it. And Ruth... Remember the mantra I gave you, just do it, okay? Okay, adios. Oh dear, you already left. I was in the shower. Well, delighted the pool is open, you have fun. I don't think I'm going to make it at this point, but... Um, Thanks for the heads up, and uh, I avoid looking at my arms or my neck for that matter. Well, all righty. Bye. Max 
here. Leave a message. Damn, where are you? Listen, I need to get out, but I don't have a mask, and my walker disappeared. I think I left you a message yesterday, but I, I, I don't remember. Anyway, come by and bring me a mask. Nobody answers down in reception. What's with those people anyway? Well, I'll just, well, I don't know what I'll do. Call me, okay? Bye. Harry? Harry, pick up the phone, pal. You just called me. I know you got to be there. All right. Um, look, I'm 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 working right now. Okay, I can't come by at the moment. Why don't you try downstairs again? Oh, good, 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 good. You're up. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's, it's about time. You can't just sleep, 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 sleep. Oh God, Harry, I I've been up for hours. Yeah. Well, why didn't you call me then, huh? Uh-huh. Why didn't you call me? What am I, chopped, chopped uh, liver? No, <laughs> you're more like a chopped salad at the moment. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, that was a bad joke. Uh, okay, my friend. Hey, we don't want to hyperventilate, do we? You know what to do. Take a deep breath in, count to three, out again, breathe. Hey, Max, uh, yeah. are we going to play golf today? Well, you don't play golf, you play tennis. Tennis? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. I remember I won that uh, I won that tournament in Thailand. Mm-hmm. Was that tennis? It was tennis and you won a celebrity tennis tournament and you're right. It was in Thailand and you were good. You were <laughs> very very good. Oh, so my brain is still uh, is still uh, holding up. Yes, it is. <laughs> You're still in the game, not just the tennis game, but the big game. Oh, life, right? The game of life. Wow, I've still got it. Damn right. You've still got it. Well, I better call my agent. You know what it's like. You're forgotten if you don't stay in touch. I'll tell her I'm still in the game. She should know that, don't you think? Yeah, but uh, hey. Why don't you call her after lunch? Did I have breakfast? Did I miss it? You don't eat breakfast, my friend. Oh. Did you uh, Did you have your coffee? Oh, sure. I always have my coffee. Otherwise, I can't go to the... Uh... Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Good. Because that's what keeps us guys, you know, moving. You know. Um, listen. Hey, Bevy called. You know, Bevy? <laughs> and uh, the pool is open now for exercise, which I think we both can use, you know, keep us moving. Oh, 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 that baby, she does something very annoying. I can't remember what it is, but she does it all the time. Talk. That's it. Yes. She's exhausting. <laughs> uh, will the one you like uh, be there, the hoity-toity one with a nice tits? Oh. Probably not. She doesn't like, uh, you know, to be seen in the harsh light of day. If she can't hide behind a big hat and sunglasses, she probably won't come out. Well, the hell with her is what I say. Yeah, you're probably right. But, you know, I'd love to get a good laugh out of her before I check out. Okay, my friend. Hey, let me, uh, let me get some work done. What are you okay. working on now? Uh, a play. About what? Uh, what we're going through now. You know, the virus and being the expendables. Are we the expendables? I thought we were white privilege. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, we're, uh, we're that too. I'm calling it calling the herd. Culling? Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're talking about killing old cows? Uh, well, well, we're the old cows. <laughs> we're a burden on the young ones who probably won't get sick. Uh, who knows, Harry? Anyway, complicated. Are you writing a part for me? You're not expendable. I need you to stick around. <laughs> so, hey, go put on your uh, trunks and we'll go out to the pool and have some fun with the girls. Okay. okay. 
Sounds good. Uh, and when you come down and bring me my mask, you can help me find my Speedos. I get a lot of looks when I wear my Speedos. <laughs> Thanks, Max. Uh, you're the best. All right, Harry. Yes. You missed it. Oh, it was so much fun. Almost everybody was there. New exercise program, adorable instructor. Uh, oh, and Harry wore his Speedos. Oh, Lord, you have to love that guy. <laughs> so lots of balls in the pool. Oh, which reminds me. Guess who asked for you? Max. Ah, yes, and he was hilarious. He did this little imitation of you, you know, your arch tone, a little clipped. <laughs> oh, I can imagine. Very insightful and droll, I'm sure. Oh, he had droll down. He was now, still very droll. <laughs> please don't encourage him on my behalf. Oh, come on. Max is fun. I know he's not your gorgeous Gordon, but then Gordon is no longer in the game. Or on the planet, for that matter. Thanks for the reminder. <laughs> well, and you're right. I am getting flabby, which is oh, why. Get the hell out of there, darling! Come to the pool. Take a walk. No, and no, no, I, I think I am just going to stay put. There's too much chaos in the world. It's overwhelming. Do you know, it's really getting me down at the moment. Everybody is dealing with chaos, Ruth. Do something about it. Volunteer, take a class. Don't just sit your life out. For heaven's sakes, come on, girl. We're both still attractive. Although I haven't seen you in a while, but I'm still attractive. And still delusional. Ha <laughs> ha, you bet. You bet. Only way to be at this age, my friend. Oh, more good news. The dining room opens tomorrow night. Two seatings, nice distancing. I pick a table and I'm gathering the gang. So Betty, that is really good news for you because I know you've missed the gang, but I must admit that I haven't. And I really enjoy my solitude. I didn't think that I would, but I do. So I think that I am just going to continue to stay in my room, order my dinner here. Oh, no. No, 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 Ruth, Ruth, this is not good. Really, this is not good. You're, you're going to do, I don't know what, you're just going <sighs> to, I'm worried about you, Ruth. You're going to lose what few friends you have. And if it wasn't for me, you, I, 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 I what? Well, I'd be alone. I like being alone. You know, you should try it sometime. Get to know yourself. Oh. You know, I'm not like you, Bevy. <laughs> I don't have to be busy every single minute of the day. You do not have to be like me, but you have stopped being like you. You don't get it, Bevy. Do you know, I have had to push myself to be out there. And frankly, I am relieved to give that up, to not be anxious or driven or to want. I mean, what? Do you know, I don't even know what. I'm not a joiner. All right. I mean, I've tried that and I've always felt a bit phony. I, and I know you're going to think that this is pretentious, but I feel that I am living a more authentic life for me. You know, uh, uh, a life of the mind. Oh, good. A uh, life of the mind. Oh, that's perfect. Uh, well, you know what I think? No, oh, and I don't want to know. Of course you don't, because you're doing it again. You're isolating. I think this, this, this pandemic and our awful politics is a perfect excuse for you to just curl up, live your life in a book or on, on Netflix. And honestly, Ruth, if it wasn't for me, you would have closed down after Gordon died. You remember what you were like then. Come on, girl, it's too too early to give up on all the good stuff. You know, fun and theater parties and theater trips. Stop it. Stop it, Bevy. I mean, this is ridiculous. You're lecturing me. And you are not my therapist, or God help us both, my mother. You're supposed to be my friend. 
And I have been enduring this friendship because I did not know how to tell you without hurting you because I know you don't mean it. But I've got to tell you this, baby, with with time running out and the specter of death whispering in my ear, I've just got to say this. You exhaust me with your endless hounding and your unsolicited advice. And I know that you mean well, but it's too much. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Enduring, my goodness, you've been enduring this friendship. Well, 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 I'm sorry. I had no idea I was hounding you, wearing you out. I will certainly cease, cease and desist. But uh, I just, I just have to tell you, Ruth, the specter of death has been breathing down your neck since the day we met. And what is that now, darling, 40 years, 50 years? Well, I told you then, and I'll tell you again. You better learn to dance with that old boy, or he's going to suck what little life is left in you right out. And, and this is not hounding, just a, um, a word to the wise. Now, what have I done? <sighs> Bevy, Bevy, I know you're there. Look, look, I'm, I'm sorry. I feel, I feel awful about being so mean. I, I'm distressed. Anyway, I'm sorry, and, and you're probably right. I wouldn't get off the couch if it weren't for your endless hounding and, I mean, encouraging and and. Please forgive me. And okay. Okay, all is forgiven. If you join us for a Zoom cocktail hour. Oh no, oh no, please don't make me Zoom. Only way you get back to my good graces, darling, five o'clock. And yes, this is hounding. Adios. Oh. Hey, Harry, hi. Harry? Oh dear, darling, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. So uh, there's a little mic over in the, the, the mic, the mic, oh dear, the microphone at the corner. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's it, you got I, it. I got, got it. it. Hey, hey. Hi. Can you hear me? I got yeah, it. Okay. Hey, is it, uh, who are, who is it? <laughs> oh, it's oh. Bevy. Bevy, from the pool today, remember? Oh, right. <laughs> Uh, you like my speedos? Oh gosh, we all loved your speedos, darling. You were the hit of the you were the hit of the pool. How do I look? <laughs> you look fabulous, just fabulous. You look great. Oh, Max, hi. Hi, guys. Hey, hey Max. Harry. Hi, you got on. Good. Ah, uh, is uh, Ruth going to grace us? With her presence. Yes, isn't that a lovely surprise? Yes, she is. Small victory for me. Ah, uh, it's my role in her life, you know, push, push, push. Kind of exhausting, but what the hell? I'm a saint-like creature at this point. So I think it's just the four of us. Uh, oh, there she is. Oh, my Lord. You have gone white, girl. Yowza. Uh, what? No, it's good. It's good. It looks good. I just sort of missed the blonde you. I think, Ruth, it looks great. A sign of acceptance, of reality, good for you. It's COVID hair. I'm, <laughs> I'm just aware of time passing. And we're rolling a train one can't hold back. So enjoy the ride since we're almost at the end of the line. Oh, guys, 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 might we just wallow in the soft blanket of denial? Just until the wine arrives, I've ordered you all a bottle. I am spending down. Spending down? Hey, whoa. Mm -hmm. Does your old man know about this? Oh, long gone, my old man. And not a fun one. Not like you, my friend. Oh, am I the fun one? <laughs> oh, yes, you are. You are. You are. And, you know, I, I think we're all capable of being fun ones. It's just that sometimes we get a little dark and then we are the... The expendables, right, Max? <laughs> And we should be. Oh, what's the word? What's the word? What's the word? Uh, uh, culling for the sake of the young, 
<laughs> Too many old geezers clog up the works. Right, Bex? <laughs> oh, you, you might say that, Harry. You <laughs> might say that. I'm actually I'm writing a play about. Uh, yeah, it's called Harry Killing Day. the Herd. That's the title. Uh, hey, uh, I'm really on today, right? Yes, you are, Harry. And good for you and Max, Culling the Herd. Very much to the point, I think. Oh, come on. Let's not go down that yellow brick road. We all know who we'll find at the end. Yeah, <laughs> our maker. On the nose, Harry. Yeah. I was just telling Ruth she better learn to come to terms with the Reaper. Or what the hell? Let's call him the maker. Uh, uh, yeah, the, the circle, the maker, the the Reaper, and nobody's grim, just the Ferris wheel we're on. Wow. Right now. Hmm. Good, Harry. It's a good perspective. What do you think, Ruth? Oh, I think when you're dead, you're dead, and that's fine with me. It's uh, the decline that I'm afraid of. Oh, it's the fear that'll cripple you, darling. Let go of that. Easy said. My advice, unsolicited, I know. Music, essential. Upbeat, dance with abandon. No partner necessary. Pep talks. You use your name. For example, I'll say, oh, Bevy, your hair may be thinning, but your teeth are intact. <laughs> Good posture. Good posture takes 10 years off and walk with authority, even if you don't know where you're going. Hey, but, 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 what about me and my walker? I clump. <laughs> Harry, you're an actor. Clump with style. <laughs> oh, and when passing a mirror, no harsh judgments, just a small round of applause. Oh, I, I, I already do that one. <laughs> but I get it, baby. Live, live the best way you can with what you got left. You exactly. know what we say, Max, it just doesn't matter. Oh, wow. Well, Harry, you're right. On one level, it, it just doesn't matter. But you can't ignore what's going on around you. you know, the people who have so little who are suffering and they need some attention. Write a check, be of service, volunteer, I, do your bit. All I am saying guys is let's not lose the joy, the simple wonder of being on the planet. And believe me, I know life isn't fair and people are selfish and destroying the planet and old people are living too damn long and draining the resources, I get it. I get it. I just, I just don't want to live this last chapter being pulled down by reality. Wow. Well, Someone has to pay attention. Arthur Miller. <laughs> attention must be paid. Exactly. Death of a salesman, attention must be paid. Yeah. Perfect metaphor. I guess, you see, that's, that's what my play is trying to be about. How do you live at this point in your life? How do you feel like you have the right to pay attention to yourself when your life is so much easier than others? I, God, I don't want to live just through my kids and my grandchildren or the great minds. I want to live with my creativity still relevant to somebody besides myself. Hey, Max, Max, uh, 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 it, it just doesn't matter, isn't, isn't that what you always say? Well, I may say it, Harry, but it doesn't mean I can live it. Well, thank you, Max. That's the great conundrum, isn't it? It doesn't matter, we're all going to die, so it doesn't matter, but I'm still here. <laughs> and I do want I want to still matter to myself and to you. Yeah. To you guys as well. Oh. Ruth. I could just kiss you. Oh. Um, but I won't. Don't oh, worry. Oh, why the hell not? Oh, because she's scary. <laughs> <laughs> scary. I couldn't scare anybody. Oh, yeah, you do. You're scary. <laughs> Max? Mm -hmm. Scary. I, I, oh, yeah, I mean, you are. 
a little scary, but I kind of like it. Bevy, scary? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I always thought I was afraid, but I'm scary. <sighs> well, thank you. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I, 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 I guess I'm not just scared. I'm scary. Oh, my word. The woman has had a little insight. I think we should give her a round of applause for Lady Ruth. Oh, 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 I have to pee. Oh. And I, I, uh, I don't think I wore my diaper. <laughs> it <doesn't> matter. <laughs> yes, it does matter. Go, 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 Harry. We won't say anything brilliant till you get back. Oh, guys, this is so much fun. Oh, I think the wine is arriving. And I think. We expendables are entitled to a lovely Chardonnay at the end of the day. And what shall we celebrate besides the vaccine? Going to concerts, the theater, and hey, how about having something to talk about besides ourselves? Oh, that's a good one. Very good. Very good, darling. Oh, and, and, and spa days, manicures, pedicures, someone to cut my damn toenails. She is exhausting. <laughs> Max, I could just kiss you. Fantastic. Oh, that is great. Um, all right, it's a great honor and such a pleasure to be able to introduce the creative team and the cast and the playwright and so forth. So um, we're gonna do it in the order of that you saw people on screen. So Catherine Lee Scott as Ruth. So Catherine, come on in. Hello, Catherine. <laughs> Hi, Todd. <laughs> Hi, you. And Susan Sullivan, who's also our playwright, as Bevy. <laughs> hey. Hello, Hi, Susan. Hello. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> and uh, Mitchell Ryan as Harry. Hi, Mitch. How are you, Todd? Good to see you. Good to see you too. And David Selby as Max. David. David. Hello, David. And I'd love to introduce to everyone our director, Asad Kalada. Bravo! Bravo, yes, bravo wonderful bravo, job. Bravo, wonderful bravo, job. Director. Wonderful <laughs> job. We have uh, we have questions coming in. So you guys, um, I have uh, YouTube on one side, I have Zoom on the other. You guys can ask questions on either, and I'll do my very best to, to um, pick up all of these. And uh, I get to, are these actual rooms in the actors' homes? Yes, you were in the actors' homes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is true. Um, yes, I'm gonna ask, a, I'm just gonna ask a quick question. So I know that you guys go back a long way. So um, Susan, is when you, when you wrote this, were you writing this with this cast in mind? No. But uh, I will tell you that this long history has, has uh, Catherine and I were Playboy Bunnies together when I was in college and she was first in New York. Uh, I've worked with everybody here and we've kept in touch and connected, which is what friends do, yes. all these years. So it was really a gift for us to reunite for this. Oh, that's fantastic. So we have, oh, oh, I have so many. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I hope you all feel relevant and worthwhile. Oh. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> uh, are you, so are you are, are you showcasing some truth? So I guess the question is, are you, you know, are you thinking about mortality at this point? No, let me let me just say this, because I think it'll kind of explain it. I've never written a, a play before. I'm, I'm not a writer, uh, which I'm you, are, you probably have noticed. But anyway, um, it is a uh, two sides of my own brain, the left side and the right side, the side during this pandemic that wanted to close down, curl up, stay home, never have to do another dinner party, never have to go to the, didn't want to. The other part of me was going, Ooh, no, 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 can't do that, can't do that, get out of bed, get out of bed, it's nine o'clock, no, 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 up, up, up. So I thought, wow, those are two interesting characters. They're both me, right. but they're, they're dueling. And I thought, let's have a play about those two gals and see what they can do for each other. Yeah, by the way, you are a writer, and this is a wonderful piece. Okay. Well, thank you. So, One shouldn't yeah. apologize, so. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. So um, someone wants to know, uh, uh, Charles, Charles Goodrich asks, fabulous play, Miss Sullivan, will there be a sequel? I'd love to see what happens next. <laughs> Second act. And then, yes, yeah, and actually that question. Pandemic. Well, let's no more pandemics. We don't want that. No, no more yeah. pandemics. Yes, uh, no, I just, I just wanted it, it, it to be, you know, kind of perky and uplifting, and let's all stay in the game. And we're all, whether we're white privilege or whether we're, I'm sorry to say this, living in a tent. There is still life that goes on. There is still beauty and there is still magic in the world. And I just didn't want to lose it myself. And I didn't want you guys out there in whatever the Zoom world is to feel lost on that. How do you guys, uh, I know Zoom can be a little challenging. Um, did, did you, <laughs> did you uh, embrace it ultimately? Or is it like, oh my God, I can't wait for Zoom to be over. Anybody, David? What do you think? <laughs> well, it was it was had its frustrating moments. I will admit that. But uh, the lovely thing is, is that we all got to communicate with each other, right? And talk to each other, and um, it, it, that aspect has been wonderful. And in I think probably in our personal lives, uh, zooming has been. Uh, uh, has has been terrific, has been wonderful, but it because it has allowed us to be back in touch with those uh, with our friends, those we love, you know, it, and with all of us, we can tune in, and so it's uh, sure, it's sure, wonderful in that way. I tell you, when we first started, and everybody was really unsure of what the next day was going to bring. They were jumping on Zoom going, oh my God, thank you so much for being here. I really need that connection. So it's it absolutely has its place. And, and I, I've been doing a, a writing class and a couple of other uh, big uh, deal uh, Zooms and I finally got used to it and it's, it's really helpful. It's very, you know, it's, uh, it's not like being there in person with the, uh, organic people, but it's uh, the second best and it works very well. Absolutely. And it worked good on this play because uh, uh, we, it, although it, you know, it's difficult to, uh, to do a play with it, but it works and it, it just has to need to practice it. You know, it's the beauty of this is that Susan wrote this play for Zoom. Mm -hmm. And uh, and and she uh, and and I absolutely agree. We 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 talk so often, and uh, the fact that this reflects both side two sides of her, but it reflects the two sides of all of us. Uh, I, the you know isolation can be an incredible drug. You That's just right. you you start embracing it. Uh, so there is that part of you, but then the other part of you is that social part, and you miss people, and that's where Zoom has come in. It's been wonderful. I mean, to stay yeah. in with my brothers and nieces and nephews and everybody, it's, it's been a godsend. And it works for conferences and all kinds of things. So it's been wonderful. It's amazing it's been what, what, yeah. the connection between people like, like uh, uh, Assad and I were on uh, 
Carmen Greg worked at worked that show and before that and and I was in Dark Shadows with David <laughs> and Catherine. That was for Halloween. It was for Halloween. I did uh, uh, Darman Greg and also other things and yeah, amazing. We're all connected wonderfully. Uh, yes, we are. Yeah. It's really been wonderful because I I hadn't seen Catherine for maybe since the millennium. Since the millennium, we went for a walk yeah. at dawn. We uh, had a campaign with Susan and Connell. And, Susan and, and Connell brought, and my husband, we brought a bottle of champagne and uh, we walked at dawn with the new millennium. I'll, I won't forget that. It was a, and it was it a just wonderful to, to be reconnected and to be reconnected yeah. personally and creatively. And so there is an ancillary benefit to, uh, to Zoom, as frustrating as it was. David went through an ordeal, I think, trying to get the buttons working and <laughs> computers working. You did it, though. You did it. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank God for time. Very well. Thank God One for of time. my favorite lines as the writer was, please, don't make me Zoom. Oh, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> it was heartfelt. <laughs> yes. I love that. I love that. I just want to read a, I want to read a couple notes. So we have uh, Gwen Shaw, who says, hi from across the pond. It's the 1st of May here. And I'm so glad I stayed awake to watch. It's been, oh, been a bit of a hermit, too. God, so thank you. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Um, Eric Pergozin. Oh, yeah. So Eric Pergozin, um, that was fantastic. Catherine, Ben, Jeff, and Dad would have loved it. And Dad would have loved it. David and Mitch, the way you play off each other's classics. Susan, your style. <laughs> yeah. Your style today is as great as it was decades ago. Don't change except for the better. Oh, oh well, that's sweet. That's sweet. But change is inevitable, my friends. Get right. Oh, be quiet. <laughs> oh, boy. Just, in, just embrace it. Oh, <laughs> and remember, how, you know what I feel when I listen to all of you like this? How blessed, how blessed are we? I mean, it, it's very, very special. And I'm just thankful to be here and to be able to Zoom. I know. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so I have I have one person from Germany on this side, and then I have another person on this side who has a question for Assad. This is Thomas Zoshag. I'm Zosh, yes, Thomas. Ah, oh. <laughs> Thomas. Yes. Good. Yes. Good. He said he asks, um, "How have you been adjusting to directing actors in front of screens? Do you find it more challenging to tell the story without real staging?" Well, that is the big frustration, but. It's a shift. The focus goes elsewhere. The focus goes internally in a way. And to try to, I mean, you're playing for the camera. You're playing to, to it's not about staging and physical behavior as it is about truth and communication and speaking to that little tiny camera that's there and creating a connection in a different way. Mm -hmm. But it is, it is an adjustment because the lack of physical physical contact there is something that happens to the energy in a room that there is a communication that takes place that that you cannot have this way but it just i think to try to pretend that we're doing theater is where we can stumble because it is another medium so for me it's it's about finding the truth of the piece, telling the story in a different way. It's not as much about behavior, but it is about what is not said, what is underneath, what is said. And so it, um, it's using the face, using the eyes, using the camera to reach each other. Thank you, Thomas. There is, um, so there's a question of uh, one, how long did it take to rehearse over Zoom? And the other one is, do you think that this platform is going to stay? I'm going to jump into, yes, I think this platform is going to stay. And then I'm going to give the rehearsal to you. That I think the platform, what's going to happen, and it's already happening now, is it's a great place to workshop. It's a wonderful place to workshop. So um, look, we've been doing presentations. We've been doing, I won't call them full productions, but we've been doing quite a bit with absolutely wonderful work, um, emotional work for, you know, 14 months. So it's not going to go away and uh, it's going to evolve a little bit. It will certainly fit the times. 
So, but it's, I think it's what's happened is that the platform itself is, is so new that we're trying to figure out what's next. Mm. And uh, so keep on, keep on tuning in. And then uh, I'm going to take it to, to rehearsal. There's a couple of people who have raised their hands. So I'm going to uh, go to the folks who have raised their hands as well. And, but if you, anybody want to talk about rehearsals really quick? Well, I will say that the first few rehearsals, we maybe spent of two hours, we maybe spent 10 minutes actually doing the play. The first, <laughs> the first two hours minus 10 minutes were pushing buttons. And David, I can't hear you. How do I do this? <laughs> the wives come in and the husbands come in and the friends come in. And, but uh, so, so it took a while to get the hang of the um, of the technology, but I would say the last the last ten days or so is when we really zoned into the material itself. And so, all in all, I would say we may have had, if you accumulate the the, the number of minutes or hours, we might have had about maybe a full week of intensive rehearsals. If you add what we can, relate. but but very very spread very out. spread out. I mean, we've been working on it for a couple of months, but it was once a week or so. Got it. Accommodate Got it. everything. Else. And I also had the benefit of of um, seeing Susan working on this script because she she developed it over a period of time. And I just think she did a wonderful job of capturing what it's been like for us you know, being isolated, particularly people living alone. And I, I just, Susan, I think you've just done a beautiful job with this. Well, thank you. You know, you were the one, it's very hard uh, as a, um, just as a human being, it has nothing to do with being an actor or a writer, to put yourself out there and say, you think I'm okay? Am I all right? Am I? And uh, I did put myself out there. This, this was written originally for other actors to do because I thought, well, maybe somebody might. Anyway, nobody was interested particularly. So I felt that we had to do it ourselves. But Catherine, when I gave her the script, because she is a writer, not only did she read it, she actually gave me a note, a very helpful note, oh, which good. was, you should develop the character of Ruth a little more. And I went, okay, and I did. And then I thought, well, you know what? I should ask her to play the character of Ruth now that <laughs> she brought it up. And there you have it. So you see, that's the kind of magic of connection and collaboration and staying in touch with people that can only happen if you pick up the damn phone. Oh, I locked myself into a role as well. <laughs> <laughs> nice, you got it. Charles Ellis. Charles. Hello. Yes. Oh. Hi. Hello, hi, Charles. <laughs> hi, do you have a question? Yes, okay, hi. Uh, hi. Catherine, I noticed I noticed the cameo of Jeff in the in the um in the in the background. I noticed Jeff in the background, yes. yes. My husband. And um, okay, i one one thing I have to say, Miss Sullivan, congratulations. You're you're becoming the rod swirling of Zoom. <laughs> because Rod Sterling, you know, he was one of the first major writers to capture, capture um, drama, life, whatever, on TV. And now you're doing it on Zoom. So you are pioneer the way Rod Sterling was 60 years ago. Right. Darling, I think I love you. <laughs> <laughs> no, Charles is to love him. Charles, you're terrific. <laughs> Great. Thank, Thank you. you so much. All right. Bye. Uh, Stuart, Stuart Goodman. Oh, Stuart was our cameraman on Dark Shadows. Oh my God. Oh, yeah. Yes, in the very beginning, and all four Stuart. of us been on Dark Shadows. Susan played a ghost. Yeah. <laughs> I know, but uh, Stuart. Stuart. Stuart, just Stuart. unmute yourself and you're good to go. Stuart, unmute yourself. Oh, no. And he, oh, he, uh, he's a producer. Oh, and, um, hello, 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 hello. There Can you go. hear me now? Yes. yes. Hey, I haven't seen most of you guys. Susan, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That was such a wonderful little play. And you guys, David, I haven't seen you and Mitch. You remember your first cameraman? <laughs> oh, yes. oh, God, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and Catherine and I have been working together now on, on some different things for uh, quite a few years. It's so nice to see a theater like this under the circumstances that we live in, to be able to come 
and feel like you're really in the theater watching a play. And I, the director, you just a beautiful job of how you put the ensemble together and you made it work. And this is, I mean, I got a really, Todd, yes, is really absolutely fantastic. And Thank all the much. actors that you have playing there, I applaud them without any question. They're yes. all beautiful. Yeah. And all of the, Catherine and Mitchell and, and, and Susan and Dave, Beautiful, beautiful, just beautiful today. On the Zoom, right? Thank you. Thank you, Stu. Stuart. <laughs> Stuart, thank you. Stuart. You're welcome. Shelly says Stuart. hi, too. too many I remember years. you, Stuart. <laughs> I remember you, Stuart. You wouldn't go out and drink with me. Oh. <laughs> well, wait. I, I don't want to tell any stories out of school, but there's one time I think I did. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Stu. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. All right. Michael Young. Oh, good morning. Good morning from Germany. Hello. Oh, wow. <laughs> what a wonderful play here about friendship. That was so heartwarming. Thank uh, you. Thank you all. Thank you to all. And I have a question for Susan and David. Yes. I love you, I love you both for nearly 40 years <laughs> watching watching Falcon Crest with my grandma, who has passed away a long time ago. And I want to know, Max and Betty are chatting with old friends, Ruth and Harry. Whom would Maggie Jo Birdie and Richard Channing chat with via Zoom if they were isolated today? <laughs> if they were isolated today? Well, Maggie's dead, so she would be, uh, she'd be chatting with Gordon uh, from, uh, you know, the past. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> David, you Richard, huh? Sorry? Richard Channing. Yeah. Who would Richard? Uh, there were so many. Um, you know. Um, oh One of those God. young girls. Come on, David. <laughs> <laughs> no. Anyway, he he. Yes, he would be doing good. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> you have solutions. <laughs> I thank you both and God bless you all. Thank, uh, thank you, you Michael. Michael. God bless you too. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. You're in my heart. Uh, oh, wonderful. Thank you so much. Thanks. Gina Costa. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, can you hear me? Yes. 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 Hello, hello. Um, congratulations to you all. And I have to say, uh, Mitchell, I'll go out drinking with you. Um, <laughs> I had to hang I, up my gun. <laughs> I, I have to congratulate um, Assad, my dear, dear friend who has uh, Assad has, uh, well, I'm a playwright and Assad has directed um, so many of my words and we hope to keep working together again. And I got to say that this lineup, oh my gosh, I grew up with you guys on daytime TV. Holy cow. I'm just, I'm kind of like, Yikes! Uh, I mean, I'm I'm just kind of like going, oh my gosh, these are the people that I would, yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, and it's so beautiful seeing all of you. And Susan, thank you for a delightful, delightful play. Thank you so so much. And um, gosh, uh, I'm I'm just I'm I'm thrilled to have seen all of you guys, and especially my dear friend Assad. And, Thank you. Um, and well, and a fearless fly, Todd Felber, Felberstein, he, he got a second vaccination. Oh, <laughs> he's, he's working through it. But um, thank you, nice. thank you nice. all so much. And uh, it was it was such a treat. And I, I'm really kind of reeling from how beautiful all of you look and how you sound and Thank you for being here today. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. And yeah. still on the planet, Kate. Yeah. We're still on the planet. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you know, um, I, I'm gonna I'm going to put some wind in, in Gina's sales for a minute. Gina is one of our first playwrights, is our first playwright actually. So when all this started, um, I called up Gina and said, Gina, 
I'm starting smartphone theater. What do you got? And she basically <laughs> has said, uh, I'll get you something. And that was it. So, and we've since produced many of, I don't know, three, four, five plays that Gina's written. And each one is more brilliant than the next. And it's, it's been great. Um, it's, can't say enough. Good forward things. with that play, Gina. I, <laughs> I know Assad. I know Assad. But um, to, to Susan, David, Catherine, and Mitchell, what what a, an amazing, beautiful cast! And thank you so so much. Thank you for this time Thanks, with yeah. you guys today. Thank you. Oh my gosh! If I want to hear something mean. I want to hear something. <laughs> thank you. Anybody oh, mean right. on the phone? You're all sons of bitches, and you. <laughs> there we go. That's life as I know it. You know, I'd like to say this because I know we're coming up to the end of this a uh, little talk back here. I'd like to say something about Todd and and uh, the graciousness of what he is doing for artists, for actors, for writers, for directors. You know, we, we live um, as expendables, marginalized, because this is the end of our lifespan uh, as actors. Uh, let's be real. Uh, so it's wonderful to have a place to reach out and still be, as I say through the character of Max, still be creative to somebody besides ourselves. And thank you, Todd, for giving us a place to be creative. Yeah, because thank you, Todd. Is yes. how one touches the divine. We're not done. Um, <laughs> we're not done. Say about it. Thank, thank you, Susan. And it's, it's been, it continues to be such a pleasure because I, um, I. I love working, you know, as a director, but the platform itself, I love working with actors and I love theater. And, and so this is as much, uh, it pays me, it fuels me as much as, um, as much as anything else. So uh, we have a couple more and then, uh, and then we'll see who we could squeeze in. Um, Leslie Smith. Leslie Smith, you just have to unmute yourself and then we're good to go. Hi, can you hear me? Yes. Hi, oh my God, this is so exciting. I'm here watching with my mom. Uh, we're in Newfoundland, Canada. Ooh, and wow. I am such a big fan of all you guys. We're actually re-watching Falcon Crest at the moment. <laughs> um, Susan, I had a silly little question for you. I was wondering, is da are David and Mitchell your favorite on-screen husbands? Yeah. <laughs> I've had a I've had a gaggle of them, darling, and they're the best. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Well, you guys, my gosh, I'm an actor myself and singer, and the acting just blew me away tonight. Thank you so much, Susan, for bringing this to everybody, and Todd, and oh. thank you very much. Tuning in, Leslie. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Leslie. Thank you for tuning in, uh, yes. Richard Halperin. For hello, hello everybody. Hello from California. Well, hello. Here in California. Hi, Richard. Hi, Mr. Richard. And Ellie. <laughs> Listen, this was wonderful. Uh, Susan, I've never, I don't, I've never met you. I, I, uh, I know Catherine many years. I know David many years. Mitchell, I had the pleasure of meeting you when we did our Halloween uh, Dark Shadows panel, and that was a thrill. Oh, I mean, yeah. I've never met. The directors and stuff. So congratulations on the smartphone theater. Congratulations to the and director. This was absolutely wonderful, and I absolutely look forward to more productions because uh, this is such an easily accessible format. We are in—I don't know how many parts of the country we're all in. I know most of you guys are in California. New Kathy's in New York, probably. Are you in New York? I'm I'm in Beverly Hills at the moment. <laughs> oh well, uh, I take it all back. No. No, <laughs> but, right. you see, but you see, that's the thing. You could be in your wherever you could be located. We could do this, and I look forward to much, much more. I was very entertained. It was a wonderfully written piece, and I think everybody did a great job. And listen, none of you are counted out. I could see you, each of you, doing something on screen, or big screen, small screen, whatever. Uh, any of you, and I would look forward to that. And, and I think it, it could happen, and you never say never. <laughs> uh, Are you running a studio, Richard? Right. 
Pull me over. Yeah, come on over. This is great. Yeah, we'll we are not finished yet. No, I know, I know. No, as far as running a studio, no, I do a live singing show from here every Saturday night. So yes, we are all running our own studio. <laughs> but uh, listen, congratulations again. I do look forward to more. Uh, I'd like to be involved with, as a patron, as a as a whatever you need and everything. And uh, it was just wonderful. Thank you so much. Ah, uh, Richard, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Richard. Thank you very okay. much. Um, we're just going to do a few more, and um, there's a Mitch. Somebody had a question with regards to your book. Are you working on a book right now? Yeah, it's being published. Uh, it's called uh, um, what's it? Called? All in the herd. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Fall of a Sparrow is the title, and it's about uh, my son and I. And it's uh, also a lot of uh, the uh, escapades I went through during my long and unillustrious career and uh, early life with my family. So uh, it, it's, a, it's a very interesting book. You can Great. probably find it on Amazon. And uh, it, it's also going to be a, a recording, which I'll probably do. I don't know when. But... I have to say, I've read a portion of it, Mitch, and I'm really looking forward to reading the whole book. You're a wonderful writer. Oh, thank you very much. Very, and, very. And uh, uh, I'm very happy with the jacket and all the. <laughs> and it's kind of exciting so... getting all the stuff put together. Yeah. So in a month or two, about two months, is it'll, it'll probably be available and. Uh, you can find it on a website, Mitchell Ryan's uh, uh, Fall of the Sparrow. Great. Congratulations. Look forward, yeah. Mitch. Congratulations. Yeah, good Congrats. title. Yeah, I love it. Daniel Gramke. Daniel. Hello. 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 Good hey evening. There. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm here with my husband, Scott. We're actually on a Viking. We've been on a Viking cruise for the last uh 17 months we were the last viking cruise and we're, wow. we've been circling the three gorges dam in china ever since march of uh, 2020 i think really? <laughs> oh my god that's wow. an inside that's an yeah. inside joke I, oh, maybe yeah. one person in the room yeah. will get it. anyway still but, on the well, cruise? <laughs> no i think you're making that up danny <laughs> <laughs> that's it's a, a it's a it's an inside nice joke <laughs> ruth will know anyway but no, well, well done. Um, and how fortuitous that, that you know that you found you found this vehicle that Susan wrote so wonderfully. And thank goodness she had a capable editor. Um, but uh, Assad, I want to ask you. Yes. You know, in this medium, how do you approach this as a you know a piece of because it's a very different you know the medium of theater is different than the media of film, of course. So do you approach this as a, a theatrical piece for you and your for you and your cast or film or did you discover something else well it's been trial and error basically for me it's always about telling a story how do we tell the story what medium do we have to tell that story and what we have available to us here are faces and essences we don't have behavior we're uh, we don't we're not able to use space in telling the story. So it really is about the spoken word and the unspoken um, uh, truths that are leading to it. So it, it has become, it, it's been a trial and error process for me. The first few times I did this was, it was frustrating because I wanted to, I wanted to go into the screen. I wanted to hug the actors. I wanted to talk to them. I wanted to be with them. And I was trying to duplicate what the theater rehearsal experience is, and it simply it cannot be that. So I accepted the separation and made the connection of a different kind. But for me, it always comes back to what is this about? How can we, how can we communicate it to you collectively out there and, uh, and tell the story in the most 
vivid and richest way possible. So, so that has always been my guide, is what is this piece about and how can we best communicate it? If you have a, if you have a, a, a if you're doing a movie, then you've got that medium to use and to explore as much as possible. The theater and the theater space is that here we just are limited by that rectangle yeah. and yeah. how we use that. Yeah. So, so well, that I, really has been my guide. That's what I, you know, I'd like to place a challenge to you all uh, is to take this piece that now was effectively written for this medium of Zoom and put it on the stage in front of a live audience and how, you know, like think about how you would, how you would do that and capture the essence of what we're experiencing now on a live stage. I think that would be kind of a cool way to, you know, once we're back in, you know, to get us back in the theater and yeah. You know, I think it's interesting, Assad, because, you, you know, you did try a few things. For example, you had us making entrances, you had me up, you know, uh, putting books away and so on. So you you did some staging. There and I, some I think that then we decided to go back to the simplicity of... Well, um, because there is a temptation to do that. I mean, there is a little bit of movement. Uh, David yeah. comes in to his to his room to his office when harry calls him and that was essential because i had to justify in my head why isn't he picking up the phone if he's right. there why doesn't it, i can understand ruth not doing it he doesn't want to talk to anybody but david is harry's best friend so why yep. doesn't he and then there's the near miss he misses the call which disturbs him and he wants to get back today to harry so anyway these are the adjustments you make i when we tried with you catherine you're stepping in on the second call it felt gratuitous it didn't yeah. it didn't add, it didn't add anything. anything so that's where you learn to make the choices and to be careful not to just fall in love with with a choice just because it's there or because it's different and it Daniel, meant to wear pajama Daniel. bottoms and go barefoot. <laughs> Daniel, yes. Danny, are you still there? I, I hope so. <laughs> are you suggesting that we take this on the road? I I just think it would I think it'd be wonderful to take this medium right to take this this piece that you that was created for this medium, and then to put it in front of a live audience. And now you have to capture the essence of. You know, what you're doing is you're trying to capture the essence of a live performance in this sure. medium and then you know it'd be nice to invert it right yeah. Yeah. and put it in front of a live audience and but yeah take it on the road how, how danny how, how, why don't you set it up at bucks county <laughs> I, I know a couple of people there susan might as well <laughs> you know it's certainly it's certainly an option and what i invite everybody to do is on our website, we have an we have an episode tab, and under that, there's season one and season two, and you'll see all of our shows, which we make available for everybody. And you know, some are some like right now we have multiple people on camera, but every once in a while we get lucky to where we have two people on the same camera, and you'll see different stagings, different productions, different styles. There's all sorts of which we've sold. We've we've absolutely sold. So I think that I think Daniel, what you're suggesting is is absolutely possible, and who knows? Maybe we'll do a, a smartphone theater review and get everybody out on the road. You never know. It's certainly possible. It's only possible. All right, um, I'm just going to do two more unless everybody wants to keep going. Um, but I'm going to do two more, and then we're going to call it a day. So Nicole Bridgens. Hi there. Hi there. Hello. Hello. I'm so just amazed with all of you. I have been watching Dark Shadows. Um, I'm 34 and my mom told me about Dark Shadows. And when the pandemic started, we got Amazon Prime and I started watching and I have fallen in love with you guys. I've watched you every night. I look forward to coming uh, to the TV to see you. I feel like I know you as friends. Um, I actually, um, Mitchell Ryan, I have to say thank you for what the work you did with David Hennessy playing little David, because I didn't have a dad and you were wonderful. Roger was not a very good dad, but you were there for David and I could feel it. And just your characters came through the screen. All of you, I'm just in awe and I'm almost in tears because I just, I love you guys. 
Oh, you're so thank sweet. Thank you. Thank what a wonderful thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anything you do, I'll come 34? see. 34? Oh 34, yeah. I'll come see you guys do anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, let's hope maybe they'll bring Dark Shadows back. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> <laughs> Only if you guys can come back and do some oh, work with it. We promise. We promise. <laughs> that would be that would be unbelievable. I would I would love that. And maybe you could do this play too, um, but do it in a haunting way. <laughs> Put a little twist in there at the nursing home. Maybe there's a vampire loose in the in one of the wards. I don't know. <laughs> maybe Susan can can play with that. But I'm just you guys are are phenomenal. This is my third time seeing a play online. I saw some other local plays um, that were doing virtual and. I just happened to be part of the Dark Shadows Club and, and saw this, and I've been looking forward to it all day long. So thank you for making thank my you. day. Oh, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Nicole. Stay healthy, keep acting. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Kisses. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Bruce, uh, Bruce, Bruce Jasmine. Thank you. I'd like to say hello to Mitchell. I finally get to say hello to Burke Devlin. Oh, <laughs> And I was wondering, would Dark Shadows fit in this format? I don't know. Uh, a one-off Dark Shadows themed play. Oh. <laughs>